Hey there everybody, T-Shirt Booth here for GSHelper.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to account for the mouse offset when constraining an actor to the mouse position. So most people know how to constrain an actor to mouse position. I'm going to hit preview here and you'll see when I click down I can drag this object wherever I want. The problem most people have is say you click the edge of this actor you'll notice it instantly jumps to the center no matter where you click on the actor. Well, I'm going to show you how to fix that today. I'm going to hit back and I'm going to go into that actor and as normal we have when touch is pressed, constrain self position X to mouse position X, constrain uh, self position Y to mouse position Y. So the first thing we're going to want to do is create three attributes. I'm going to hit the plus sign and we're going to create two real attributes. And the reason why we want to use real attributes for this is because we're going to keep track of the mouse location and the location of the object, and it uses decimal points um, and numbers after the decimal. So we want to use a real attribute for that. So I'm going to go off set X and off set Y. And then we need one more attribute, and it's going to be a dragger attribute. For this, it's a yes or no answer. So I'm going to use Boolean. I'm going to go ahead and call this drag. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a new rule. And we're going to create it right at the top. And what I'm going to say, when touch is pressed, we're going to change our offset attributes. So we're going to do change attribute. And we're going to change self offset x to device mouse position x then we're going to go minus, and we're going to get the self position of this object. So self position X. So we're going to get the difference between the mouse position and the position of the center of this object. And then we're going to do the same thing for Y. So we're going to do change attribute, self, offset Y, to device, mouse, position, Y, minus self position y and then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to say when mouse is pressed we want to change attribute self dot drag to true and the reason why we're adding this step is because we want it to do these things first before it does this rule down here so it's going to do these and then it's going to turn it to true and then in the other wise we're going to copy this down here and we're going to change it to false that way when we let go of the actor it changes drag to false and then the actor will stop following the mouse. Now down here rather than when touch is pressed we're going to do attribute when self drag is true. So we don't want it to start following the mouse position till it's true. And then what we're going to do is instead of in here following mouse position X we're going to do mouse position X minus self offset x and then for the y the same thing we're going to go minus self offset y now I'm going to hit preview and you'll see no matter where on the object I click it'll drag from that spot I can click the center I can click a corner it doesn't matter it'll constrain to that spot and I hope that helped you and head on over to gshelper.com to download this demo file so you can pick it apart and see for yourself.